guys. Welcome to another episode of the Fairy Godmother Show. My name is Dr. Lynn. I am a professional fairy godmother. What's a professional fairy godmother, you ask? Well, it's simple. I am a hypnotherapist and an executive, small business, and life success coach. Now, I help people accomplish their dreams, whether it be in business or in their personal life. I help people find the balance between their personal life and their business so that they're happy and they're able to maintain that. I also help people start and scale their businesses all over the United States so they can have more time, more freedom, and more money to do what they want to with their loved ones. Now, today on the Fairy Godmother Show, we are talking about imagining that everyone is enlightened except for you and why this is important. When you imagine that everyone is enlightened except for you, it actually gives you a chance to practice something that is probably completely unacceptable to you. Most of us don't like to think we're not enlightened. In fact, just the mere thought that, well, we may need more enlightenment. It's pretty scary sometimes. However, if you do give it a try, you might find that it's one of the most helpful exercises in self-improvement that there actually is. Now, guys, as the title of this video suggests, the idea is to imagine that everyone you know and everyone you meet is perfectly enlightened. That is, everybody except you. The people that you meet are all here to teach you something. Perhaps the obnoxious driver or disrespectful teenager is here to teach you about patience. The punk rocker in the park might be here to teach you about being less judgmental. Your job is to try and determine what the people in your life are trying to teach you. You'll find that if you do this, you'll be far less annoyed bothered, and frustrated by the actions and imperfections of other people. You can actually get yourself in the habit of approaching life in this manner. And if you do, you really will be glad you did. Often, once you discover what someone is trying to teach you, it's easy to let go of your frustrations. For example, suppose you're in the post office, and the postal clerk appears to be intentionally moving rather slowly. We've been there. We've all been there. Rather than feeling frustrated, ask yourself the question, what are they trying to teach me right now? Maybe you need to learn about compassion. How hard it would be to have that job you didn't like. Or perhaps you could learn a little bit more about being patient as you stand there. Standing in line is an excellent opportunity to break your habit of feeling impatient, actually. Not going to go any faster simply because you want it to. You may be surprised in how fun and easy this actually is when you get used to it. Because all you're doing is really changing your perception from, why are they doing this? Why are they going so slow? To, what are they trying to teach me? How can this help benefit my life? So, my friends, take a look around today at all of the enlightened people and find out what those enlightened people need to teach you. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairy Godmother Show today. That is all that I have. Once again, my name is Dr. Lynn. I am a professional fairy godmother helping you have the small business and life that you absolutely love. If this sounds like something that you are in need of, by all means, reach out to me. My contact information is down below. And if you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairy Godmother Show, please make sure that you've liked and subscribed and shared it out on social media so that all of your friends and family can see it too. Remember, you get what everybody else gets. You get a life. How you use it is up to you. Quit being a wallflower. Go out and live your dreams. <laughs>